While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. It's, it's here to keep us in sin. God doesn't want us working. He don't want us by himself. Bring it up. Give me Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. I'll be back. I'm supposed to go get a Mother's Day gift. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, is Mother's Day in the Bible? I don't know, but I know my mother waiting on me. And I'm like, it's over with the phone. But you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Mother's Day is in the Bible, though. Where is it? It's not in there. We are here teaching and going to the Bible. The thing that's set up in this system right here is, is, is going to keep us in sin. All the different things that we celebrate is not biblical. The thing they set up out here is Mother's Day. Right. Mother's Day. So you don't celebrate Mother's Bring it Day. out. No, I do not. This is what he said. Let me say, what is love? God. God is love. What's that mean? Well, you said, so what if you said God is love? What is love? God is love. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't Hell, know what that means either. What I'm you can't, what, 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 that's not a thing. You can't say that as if it's just, just what that's what it means. What was the main reason of the Bible? What was God teaching? What was his number one teaching out of everything? No, you're going to ask me. I asked you a question. You can't ask my question. I'm, I'm about to show you, I'm about to show you a portion of the Bible. What is love? All right. Bring it out. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. What is love according to the Bible? Love according to the Bible? Oh, yeah. You don't know? I do know. I don't know. I don't want to expect this. Yeah, I know. I hit you right when I said. Love according to the Bible. We're about to show you. Read. The book of 1 John. You love God, right? You love God? All right, let's go. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Right? That we keep his commandments. Keeping God's commandments is the love of God. You, if you're not keeping God's commandments, you do not love God. You understand? That's what we are here teaching. You, you got that? Yeah, you say you love God, you have to keep the commandments. That is the love of God. So right. God tells you in order to do out of his Bible, we must do it. Bring it now, out. of course, right now, we cannot kill anybody. That's against the law. Right. You know what I'm saying? But in the well, when the future comes and Christ return, we're going to all be changed. It's not going to be the same situation as it is now. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Well, listen, God is not going to let us kill. But you ain't just Isaiah. Everything that, Isaiah, that, everything that everything God. that scripture right now. Go back to Isaiah 14 verse. What did it say right here? The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor process the land, nor fill the face of the world for cities. You hear that? It says, prepare slaughter that they don't rise back up. When did they rise back up? When did the, the so-called white man rise back up? I never knew they failed. They failed. When did the white man rise back up? Me right the now. time of renaissance. We ruled during the dark ages. They, re, renaissance was the rebirth of them. Right. That's when they came back into power during the 1500s, 1600s. The renaissance. Bring it out. So do yeah. you believe that? Uh, yeah. That's, that's, no, it was. Yeah, Abraham, so that's part Abraham, of it. It's part of the Bible. Ancient Egypt. What you mean, part of ancient Egypt? Is it? I don't know what you I don't know the question. I don't know the question you Is they a part of Kenya? No. To me, it's a part of Kenya. No. We're not a part of Kenya. We are the ancient Israel the Egyptians had the Israelites in slavery. Bring it up! Right. That's the only part that we are part of. The Egyptians were also black. Yes, of course. That's was black. So, right. Like I was saying, it says a pair slaughter for the iniquity of their fathers. That's what it was saying. So I just want to let you know. Who was he, he giving the order to us? He talking to us? Yes, sir. That's yours. So I'm saying that they got any questions, bro? So hold on, bro. Hey, okay. Before you go, hold on, because I don't want to. You want the kingdom of heaven? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You already got it. You here with me right now? So you don't got it. You here with me? 
This ain't the kingdom of heaven right here. We, we don't Bring it out. Bring it up. What is the kingdom of heaven? I'm going to ask you, you, you tell me. You want me to ask you, what is the kingdom of heaven? Yeah. What is the way to the kingdom of heaven? No, you said you got the kingdom already, so, so you say that's basically what you say. Uh, that ain't even just that. That's the same thing. This is the same thing. Right, right. right. Just so that. you say. Yes. So you can do anything right now and get the kingdom of heaven. I can't do anything. Well, how, how you because say? Because I love God, so I wouldn't do anything. But you can't. My spirit wouldn't let me. So brother, let me ask you, you want the kingdom of heaven? He said, am I with it? Do you want it? Yeah, I do. Let's you go want it right. Let me show you. Give me. This is the book of Matthews, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing should I do that I may and that I may have eternal life? So this is going into the kingdom of heaven. So we're going to have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Nobody going to be getting shot down no more in the kingdom of heaven. Bring it Nobody out. Nobody going to be getting sick no more in the kingdom of heaven. Bring it out. That's what's, these are things that's going to, we got to look forward to. Right now, we don't have anything to look forward to. Bring. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Oh, we got to keep the commandments. That is the law that we got to do. Like, cause today is Saturday, right? So, is this... What day are we supposed to go worship God? Saturday. I know it's the Sabbath day. When is the Sabbath day? Who knows that? Though? When do it? Who knows what? What day is the Sabbath day? The Sabbath day is the last day of the week. The last day of the week is Saturday. That's right. But what is the last day of the week? We didn't read the calendar. So, brother, all we can do is go off of what we got, right? So, what? God is in control of all things. Bring it out. Give me. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Because this is how you're going to get the kingdom of heaven. This is how you're going to get it. Great. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. It says, read that again. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou. So remember the Sabbath day. That's part of the Ten Commandments. And say, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What's that mean? Yeah. How do you keep the Sabbath day holy? I remember in worship. What you got? What's your name? All right. So you go to church? No, I ain't been in a while. But yeah, I'm a church. But, but, on, but you go on Sunday. You go on Sunday. I haven't been in a while. Whenever you went, you went on Sunday. What about you? You went on Sunday too. Right, so it says, remember the Sabbath day to keep the home free. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So we are supposed to be doing six days to do work. On the seventh day, you're not supposed to work. Bring it out. So today, you're not supposed to be working. Alright, so this is a law that's still in effect. This is a law that we must keep, but guess what? Give me Genesis chapter 1, verse. So, we gotta know when does the day begin? When does the day begin? The morning? When does the. When does the day begin? In the morning. In the morning or at night? When you wake up, that's the day when the day begins. When you wake up, that's what they begin. When you woke up this morning, that's when the beginning of the day starts. That's what you think. That's what I'm asking. I'm not trying to ask y'all. I'm trying to ask you. I'm not trying to ask you a question. You can ask me. You can ask me. That's the beginning of your day. When is the beginning of the day according to the Bible? That's what I'm about. Bring it out. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 13. Verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seed after its kind. This is talking about when he was creating the earth. When God was creating the earth, free. And the tree yeah. yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind. And God saw that it was good. Verse 13. And the evening and the morning were the third day. So evening begins the day. But we was told in 
this is Saturday that the morning begins today. The evening begins today. So the service begins on Friday night. Right. And it ends Saturday night. That's right. Bring it out. That's what I'm saying. Right. He said the day begins in the morning. I'm telling you all that he said is a lie. That's yes. how I know. I'm disproving everything that we was this taught. What I'm saying. So that's what I'm I saying. I can agree with you. What I'm saying is, how will we know what day is the Sabbath day if God never created Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? So he never created. Listen, who you? God created everything. No, so let, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me for well, a second. That's not in the Bible. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. No, it's not in the Bible. That's true. We didn't know about that right now. But guess what? We always had seven days. So we had seven days, right? You agree with that? So with seven days, they instituted that into their calendar. That's the reason why. When we was in Egypt, we had a 10-day work week. The white man went back to this. So it is the seven days. Seven days in the Bible. Seven days house conducted. But you know how I know give me Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Because it's another rule on the seventh day. So it's not working, right? Bring it out. I'll tell you how you can also identify that this is the seventh day because they want us to stay in sin. They want us to stay in sin. The longer we stay in sin, the so the longer we break our laws. You got a phone number I can reach you at? On that uh on that flight. I was on the flight. Yep. So that, so that, uh, the longer we stay in sin and we don't do God's laws, the longer we stay at the bottom of society. The, the longer we gonna see people get shut down. So, hold on, one minute. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter ten, verse thirty-one. And if the people of the land bring where or any fiddles, so if the people of the land bring any where or any fiddles, that means goods or food. Read on the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. To sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So we're not supposed to be bad on the Sabbath or on the no moon. The Sabbath, no moon is going to the full moon, but the Sabbath is from Friday night to Saturday night. We're not supposed to buy. We're not supposed to buy anything. You understand? But guess what? When do if we're not supposed to buy nothing from Friday night to Saturday night? When do everybody get paid, Shaman? Friday. When do they spend all their money? They got to design that way so when we get our check, we stay in sin and we, we going out here giving all our money to the other nations. Right. Just like we was told not to do. They haven't set up that way. If that was the case, if they, we didn't know, if they didn't know when it was, they would have paid us any time. They paid us that day so they look, when we give them their money, they don't go buy food. Bring they it don't go stay out all night at the club on Friday night. They don't get up in the morning, go to the mall, go do their shopping, try to work some overtime and they get out there at their job so they can keep up, right? This is the law. He said, look, don't do this. But the system that they got in place here is, is here to keep us in sin. God doesn't want us working. He don't want us by himself. Bring it up. Give me Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. I'll be back. I suppose it's going to be on Mother's Day. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, is Mother's Day in the Bible? I don't know, but I know my mother waiting on me in the month. It's over with it, bro. But do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, look. Is in the Bible, Where is it? Right. So Bring it out. I do not. This is what he said. Because one thing you need to no, no, hold on, hold on. So like, I'm saying, according to the Bible, that's not in there. You know what I'm saying? But when you celebrate it, it, it derives from something else. Now listen to this. It doesn't, it doesn't come out the Bible. So hold on. Give me this. I want to finish what I'm saying. Celebrate your mama. Anything. You can celebrate anything. Really, it's just. No, you, you can't celebrate to, anything. Listen, you don't have to go. It, it shouldn't take a holiday. We out here trying to show you. It shouldn't take a holiday to do things for your mother. You should do shit for your mother all year. And I agree with him on that. But I'm saying, according to the Bible, that's not in there. You should be able to go to Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Exodus 28. Because every day, you're supposed to honor your father and mother, right? 
every day. You gotta do it because they put they put something in place for you to do it. So you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't do this without this day happening. That's, no, what, you, no, that's, that's what I'm asking. A lot of people, a lot of black no, that's not. That's not what I'm saying at what all. What I'm saying, but I'm but saying you can explain today. to your mom. Mom, I, I, let me do it another day. I want. I want to do it so I'm not basically almost commanded to do it. Now you almost say, you know what? It's Mother's Day. I gotta give my mama something. But know? that's not in the Bible. You know what I mean? The reason why they, you know, why they got these holidays set up so that we can be, on, so we can always be bad and good for them. Not a flower shop party. Now the clothing. Bring yeah, it out. If that's the case. Today is still Saturday. Mother's Day not until tomorrow. I'm going to get up here early. Can't battle in the day. But I can't. Well, I just told you we can't battle no Saturday. Saturday. So that's what I was saying. I said we're not we're not connecting the dot. Can't battle on Saturday. But guess what? If you do, you buy something for something that's not biblical. That's not in the Bible. Oh, give me Exodus 28. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So we commanded by God to honor our father and mother. That's right. through our lifetime. Bring it out. It shouldn't have to be a day where you got to go do this. Because that's going into worshiping the queen of heaven. Listen. You hear what I'm saying? That's going to worship another God. Even though you think you're just doing something for your mom, it's not biblical. It comes from ancient gods that they was worshiping and giving gifts to. That's right. They try to replace the mom and say, well, you know, if I do it for my mom, it won't be so bad. But guess what? Not everybody, any woman go by, happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. Right. Doing it for everybody as a mama, but they don't even do the same thing for the daddy. Right. You know I'm not, I'm not lying about that. So I'm telling you, according to the Bible, that's not biblical. And we got to do, we got to uphold God's law, right? Bring it out. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation.